to this very special bulletin where Shreya and I have come together to put the focus on a topic that resonates with women across the world, the issue of harassment. Women face harassment in many forms and across different mediums, on the phone, in online spaces and in person. In India alone, a woman falls victim to stalking every 55 minutes. One out of three women in India receives sexual and offensive calls or SMS as per an independent study done by Truecaller. That's absolutely right. Now, while the most common way to tackle this problem is to install a call blocking app and block the harasser's number, it is critical to take the next step and report cases of harassment as well. It's time to raise our voice. It's time for women to take a stand and for men to be responsible allies in this fight against harassment. The big question is how can we as a society come together to deal with the issue of harassment? True Caller and Network 18 have taken a monumental step in this direction with their public awareness campaign, Call It Out Because It's Not Okay. A campaign that empowers women to communicate, to speak out and report instances of harassment. That's right, a campaign that urges policy makers and law enforcers to create and promote a safe environment for women to be able to report harassment. A campaign that focuses upon the role of technology in enabling and encouraging women to guard against harassment and to amplify their voices. Let's take a look at the genesis of this very special campaign. What do 300 million people in the world have in common? They use Truecaller to identify messages and calls before answering them. Started in 2009 in Stockholm, Sweden, Truecaller has helped people identify over 184.5 billion spam calls in 2021 alone. Half of Truecaller users are women. And this has helped in recognizing how harassment over phone calls and texts have become a major concern for them all across the world and the critical need to take action. They found that 8 out of 10 women in India receive inappropriate calls and messages. Truecaller launched It's Not OK campaign in 2017 that was designed to raise awareness amplify the message and empower women to speak up against harassment both in digital communication and in the real world. True Caller's aim was to understand the problem women face and encourage women to take action by reporting harassment to the authorities while generating awareness and conversations around it. True Caller has emerged an MD of True Caller India to shed more light on this social awareness campaign, It's Not Okay. Mr. Junjunwala, you have been running the campaign, It's Not Okay, for a few years now, to be specific, since 2017. Please share with us the vision behind it. Sure. Uh, so, True Caller's uh, fight against, uh, you know, calls and SMS uh, harassment um, isn't anything new. Uh, we, we've been running it, like you said, since 2017. Uh, we've been on this, uh, you know, mission uh, right from the inception. Um, we, we've been trying to help the community by building safe and efficient communication technologies. Um, the founders as well of the company believe in this ideology very strongly. Um, we, we believe that you have the right to know who is calling you before you answer the call, just like you need to know who is knocking on your door before you open the door. Um, so we, we've always wanted to remove, you know, unwanted communication, uncertainty around communication and, and, and separate all the important stuff uh, from all the noise. Uh, and, and we'll continue to be at it. Um, the, the women and personal safety aspect uh, is a subject that is very close to uh, True Caller's heart. Um, the It's Not OK campaign was launched uh, as a step to further this, to, to let women know uh, that we understand these issues. Um, and we stand in support of these type of um, issues. Uh, this campaign was initiated um, with an idea of encouraging women uh, to come forward, uh, share their experiences, um, seek help if they need, uh, report uh, harassment that they have. 
and uh, you know it's it's definitely not okay to ignore all of this mr junjunwala this year what does the campaign it's not okay with this hashtag call it out really stand for sure sure um so in the past whenever we've done these campaigns um it's been around the conversation for the need of safety um however this time uh, we evolved from that um what we said is we want to uh, pave the way for women to actually be able to take action um and that's why I call it out specifically um we wanted to do things like you know uh, coach uh, people about how to adhere to safety tips online um learn more about uh, safety helplines for example um, and use these helplines to report um bad behavior unsolicited behavior um and reaching out to relevant uh, relevant authorities as well for example so that's what it was all about uh, that this time we want to go beyond just having a conversation and uh, we want people to take action uh, from now on and that brings us to our next question how can technology become an enabler in encouraging women to guard against harassment and also talk about it how is true caller leveraging technology in this regard well we uh, true caller as a company and uh, i myself of course we are big believers uh, that uh, there is a lot of good that technology can create right um we saw this of course entirely during the pandemic as well there was so much good that came out of technology for example uh, true caller itself uh, i can talk about that a little bit um not only do we uh, you know help women block harassment calls and messages um we also identify straight away who is calling you or who is messaging you we we try to reveal as much about somebody who's trying to uh, communicate with you as much as possible um additionally we also provide um, ways where uh, you can judge if the person that's calling you is a harasser or a scamster or a spammer um and we even provide you statistics so that you can make uh you, you can actually judge for yourself is this a call that you should be picking up or not um so there are so many incidents uh, you know where where the the technology behind true caller has helped a lot um these range from you know law enforcement for example um where we've helped in uh, catching a perpetrator uh, multiple times uh, prevention of financial fraud uh, is is a big thing for us um and goes even all the way sometimes to saving lives as well um so we you know as a company we will continue to leverage uh, technology like we've done for more than a decade mr junjunwala thank you very much for being with us on the show let me now welcome the chairperson of the national commission for women ms rekha sharma rekha ji thank you very much for your time ma'am first please give us an overview of what constitutes harassment through the phone social media and in person and the extent of harassment that is faced by women here in india see first uh, i would like to talk in person uh, harassment because a woman suffers in person whether she is at home outside working or in the offices or traveling every time uh online harassment is increasing which is uh, really serious because we have seen that after the lockdown when uh, things changed everything changed into online form and women were working online these uh, kinds of uh, complaints increased so a woman i think in all her life uh, she suffers uh, from day to day uh, uh, in day to day life all kinds of harassments and uh, all over world we have seen that uh, online complaints online uh, sexual harassment is increasing rekha ji through our campaign call it out because it's not okay we want to encourage women to not only block the harassers but also report cases of harassment how important is it according to you for women to raise their voice against harassment and the need for a campaign such as this this is very important you know unless a women ask for help unless a woman shout for help i don't think uh, that only blocking will uh, you know make any difference because that person who is harassing one woman will harass another and uh, that perpetrator should be booked and for that a woman has to rise uh, uh, and has to raise her voice 
uh, firstly she should you know call 181 if any kind of problem she is uh, having whether it is domestic or outside. Uh, secondly, then uh, she can call 100, uh, dial 100 number. Uh, she can write to us NCW, uh, sh uh, she can uh, go to the police station, uh, but first 181 and 100 number, she must remember these two numbers and can uh, call these both the numbers any time, any uh, day. Uh, and uh, in, in fact, NCW also she can write, call, uh, tweet. So, uh, women should always come forward for asking help. And finally, Rekha ji, what are some of the NCW's initiatives around women's safety? See, NCW is working on uh, for women's safety only. Our first priority is uh, women should be safe. Now, uh, we have started 24 by 7 helpline also where women can uh, call us any time of the day, whether in daytime or at night and lodge a complaint. Uh, we have also been providing uh, counseling to them because we have seen that many women would like only to talk and share their problems and want counseling. Uh, they also want uh, free legal aid. So, we have been providing through NALSA and DALSA, we have been uh, providing free legal aid and uh, soon we will be providing them in-house uh, legal, free legal aid also. Every uh, step of women's uh, uh, life, we are standing by her, whether she wants uh, protection from us, awareness from us, uh, she wants to lodge a complaint with us, uh, we are there with her. Rekha ji, thank you very much for your time here on the broadcast. An important pillar in the fight against harassment is the need to report cases to the authorities and the police. The need to call it out. Joining us now is the Special Commissioner of Police, Delhi, Ms. Shalini Singh. Ma'am, thank you so much and welcome to this special broadcast. Let's begin with your most recent initiative to ensure women's safety, the Pink Booth. Please tell us more about this and are the police planning to set up more such booths and where all in Delhi? Thank you so much for inviting me here and I must congratulate Network 18 and True Caller for their campaign Call It Out. It is really the need of the hour. Delhi police has always been very concerned about the safety of women and children and that has always been a priority area for us. So, we have from time to time taken several initiatives and one of our latest initiative is the creation of a pink booth. Now, we have seen that the children and especially the young girls, they are slightly hesitant in approaching a police station. So, we have gone out into the area. We basically want to reach out to the people, to the girls, to the persons who are being harassed. We want to be there on the ground for them so that any girl, any woman can confidently walk into any of these pink booths and they can report a crime. Initially, we started with one booth and then when it got a good response, now there are 48 booths across the city and more are being set up. These booths are mainly, uh, are mainly uh, operated by women police personnel. So, any girl can walk in without any hesitation. They can report whatever has been happening to them and they will uh, make sure that it is resolved. So, anyone, if you are being stalked, if you are being harassed or any other crime is being committed, Please feel free to go to these booths and report it. Ma'am, can you also talk to us about uh, some of the other initiatives that Delhi Police is taking uh, to make women of this city feel safer than they do right now? See, Delhi Police has always kept uh, the safety of women and children as a priority area. So, we have been looking at empowering women apart from uh, preventing these crimes. So, there is an initiative of Sashakti wherein we train uh, the girls and women in self-defense techniques. They are simple things, you know, even a school bag can become a weapon if it is used appropriately. So, that is one aspect of it that making the woman confident enough to defend herself. Apart from that, what we have done is, we have identified vulnerable areas 
we also have a list of areas which are not lit and we uh, keep on constantly updating it and requesting the uh, authorities to uh, put lights on those paths. Similarly, we increase the patrollings in that area. There are areas which are shadow areas in terms of mobile network. So, we put more police persons and more patrols in that area. We have got women patrols, we have got all women patrols also which are patrolling it. Apart from that, they have also been given soft skills training. So, you know sometimes uh, the police is found to be uh, when someone walks into a police station, sometimes they feel they are not sympathetic enough. So, recognizing that issue, they have been given soft skills training also. And cyber crime is another upcoming field in which we are training our officials. They know exactly how to handle such complaints. So if and when a woman faces harassment, ma'am, what are the immediate steps she should take to report it? See, if it is a physical stalking, then 112 is the number which you must call immediately. As soon as the call is landing in our uh, control room, your location is automatically coming into our control room and we direct the nearest uh, PCR vehicle to come and respond to that. Now, if you see the response time of PCR vehicles is also being monitored. So, you can be rest assured that within 4 to 5 minutes, a vehicle will be there to respond to that call. And if it is a case of cyber stalking, then there is a cyber helpline which you can call. Apart from that, if you do not want to actually physically interact, then uh, we have the portal cybercrime.gov.in wherein any complaint can be lodged. There is a provision for reporting it anonymously also in case you do not want your uh, name to be there on that, then anon anonymous reporting provision is also there. So, but please do it because as soon as you do it, we can get after the perpetrator and we can arrest him. And finally, Shalini, how can we collectively work together to ensure that women have a safe environment to fight harassment? See, it is a collective effort. Women's safety is something which has to be ingrained in everybody. You know, when you have a young child, you teach them certain habits like, you know, taking a bath every day. Similarly, you need to also teach them respect for women. Why not? So, it has to start from the childhood stage so that the mindset changes. Then the school curriculums, the teachers are a big part of it. They have to also join this campaign. They have to help in inculcating this uh, respect for women. This, then the gender sensitization has to be there. Then the lawyers come in, in teach, uh, making people aware of their rights. You know, it's very important for a woman to know the rights. There are a lot of villages in India. There are a lot of smaller cities in India where the women don't speak out because they are not aware of their rights. They don't know what to do. So that's where we all have to join in. So apart from mindset change, the awareness for legal rights, the urban planning aspect of it, then the technology. You know, why are we not? Uh, uh, blocking such uh, sites on our own? Why are we letting uh, such sites which are, or such uh, accounts which are harassing women? Why are we not identifying them? Why are we not blocking them? Why are we not blacklisting them? Why do we need the police to do it? By the way, Delhi, Delhi police is doing cyber patrolling as well. So, those accounts which come to adverse notice repeatedly, they are being uh, taken up and they are being blocked and action is being taken against them. But most important aspect being the mindset change. That has to change. Respect for women has to come in. Women have to be empowered to call out. They have to be empowered to report the crimes. And when a child reports it or when a person wants to report it, she should not be discouraged from doing it. Shalini Singh, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and perspective. It's time we learn how to tackle, handle and report harassment. The fight, as we have been saying, Shreya, against harassment must be a collaborative effort where all the key stakeholders come together. That's right. Network 18 and True Caller are committed to encouraging and empowering women to fight this harassment. It's my absolute pleasure here to have with me in the studio Pragya. She's the Director of Public Affairs at True Caller India and she's joining us on this broadcast. Pragya, thank you very much for your time. Tell me how important is it for all key stakeholders to stand united against harassment and what are some of the partnerships that True Caller has forged to strengthen its fight against harassment and take call it out because it's not okay to more and more people. 
Thank you so much for bringing this up and I am so glad to be here in the studio and extremely excited about our partnership with Network 18. We take online safety extremely seriously at Truecaller, specifically when it comes to women's safety. You know, we've been doing this work for the last five years and this year we want to focus on action and therefore call it out becomes a key message for us in this campaign. We've also partnered with Cyber Peace Foundation to run our online curriculum because what we've realized is that through this campaign and to challenge this problem, you need to have preventive measure. Of course, you should go out and report it on the 112 helpline number, on the 181 helpline number and also on the cybercrime portal. But what is equally important is that everyone in society gets a little bit more sensitized and understands this problem of harassment in a far more deeper way. This is a very complex problem. And we've actually been able to you know, understand it better through our research. We also realize that 50% of our user base on Truecaller is actually women. That's close to 10 crore women. We want to obviously dig a little bit deeper and understand how so, because this number doesn't track with the smartphone adoption in our country. And we realized that women have true caller because caller identification almost becomes like their first line of defense when it comes to tackling harassment. And therefore, our mission to drive trust in communication becomes much stronger when we take this issue up. Also, harassment is something which can only be solved when everyone comes together and talks about it. This is not about a women-led issue. It's about society at large. And we want to be able to address this topic from various stakeholders, whether that is the policymakers, who have a very, very important and critical role to play in this, the law enforcers, who actually drive action on the ground, women who tell their real stories, and also spotlight on the actions they took and the outcomes that they've been able to achieve because they took action. Why is this really important to us? Is because in the last five years of the It's Not Okay campaign, we realized that women report the number, they block it on their phone on Truecaller, but real world action only takes place when you take it to law enforcement. Because the harasser just simply picks up the phone and calls five or 10 other women. And that is not really stopping harassment, which is why, again, we wanna focus on the action you can take. And we have been able to collaborate with others like Network 18, who's helping us in amplifying this incredible issue and also talking about the action that women can take. The government is doing a lot. You know, they have launched helplines, they've got women only police stations or Delhi police having their own women only police stations and driving the cyber safe initiative, but not enough women know about this. And we want to be able to talk about this so that this message reaches out at scale. We have also extended that and created Guardians, which is a location safety app so if you were to you know, step out at 10 p.m., which a lot of us do as women, you know, as working women and head home, you can actually uh, allow for your guardians to track where you are. And in case you're in trouble, you can click on the emergency SOS button and your guardians, along with the whole volunteering community around you, gets a notification that you're in a vulnerable situation and you need help. This is, again, very important because staying safe on the move is particularly critical for women who are, in, who are joining the workforce. And a lot of women actually fall away from the workforce because they don't feel safe while they travel, commute to work, or have late working hours. So we've actually created Guardians keeping that in mind. Pragya, I'm going to take that thought a little forward with my next question. Every woman who faces harassment must call it out, Shreya. And for this, they need to become aware about the means available to them to fight harassment. The True Caller curriculum helps us just do that. But tell us more, what exactly is the reason for this curriculum? What is the thought behind it? And what is the nature of this curriculum? Yeah, so you bring up a very important issue around the curriculum. And we thought it was really important to drive awareness and also arming women and others who are online on what are the steps that they can take to stay safe. And what we realized is, once the harassment occurs, it's obviously too late. And at that point, we want to make sure that women and men know where is it that you can go and actually report that crime. The curriculum focuses more on the online education and more from a preventive point of view. Um, and I think we're, this is particularly important and this is something that's come up in a lot of our conversations with civil society, with uh, government and also law enforcement. 
saying that once the harassment takes place, as you know, our legal system takes a long time for somebody really, for them to nail them, right? And, and the only way that discouragement can happen around harassment is people seeing action towards it. So we are trying to basically talk about taking much more societal approach to this, also make creating awareness around how can you be more empathetic online. And we obviously aim to reach out to about 16 lakh people on the ground in about five regions. And these regions have also been selected through our conversations with the Ministry of Home, law enforcement, to actually say, where is this happening the most? And really identify those areas, go in there, not from a point of view of this is bad, but from a point of view of what can we do to really solve for it. And Pragya, lastly, what is the fundamental change you are looking to bring via this campaign? Sure, it's a very simple message. Surveys suggest that four out of five women actually get harassed. And this has a crippling effect on society. You know, we're not able to forget about surviving. We're not able to thrive. You know, it comes in the way of our work, on our, in way of our family life, and it constantly troubles us. Mm -hmm. So through Call It Out, we want to tell society to come together, go report the crime to 112, 181 and on the cybercrime portal of the Ministry of Home. Pragya, I appreciate your time and thank you so much for underlining the larger thought behind this entire campaign. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. If you or anyone you know has faced and fought harassment, you can share your stories with us with the hashtag call it out. We are stronger together. Certainly, over the next few months, We'll engage with policy makers, law enforcers, social organizations and women from all walks of life to shine the spotlight on ways to fight harassment. Viewers, to report harassment, dial 112 or 181 or log on to cybercrime.gov.in. See you on the 8th of March as we make a commitment to ourselves to call out every instance of harassment and work towards a future where women are celebrated and respected every day. Where every day Absolutely. is where Women's Day. Every day is a Women's Day. With that, it's a wrap on the special broadcast of Call It Out because it's not okay. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>